Welcome back everybody. The uh, day has finally come and we are finally at the point where we're about to start getting into these really, really big pine logs. And when I say really big, I do mean <laughs> really big. This one right here, if you can see, uh, is 32 inches right here at the butt. The other ones are uh, around the same. The smallest one on that other side is about 28. And the mill here, the LT15 Go, is rated for a 28 inch log. I have been told that it is possible to do a 32 inch log on it. Um, but I have never done it, so we're just going to see what happens. So what we need to do is uh, some dummy laid out these logs wrong, and we're going to roll these off the other direction a little bit so we can get the mill in just the right spot. And uh, then we are going to get the mill back in there and, uh, and see what we can do. So here we go. This is uncharted territory, and we're going to see what happens. So when it became apparent we were going to uh, saw these logs, I went ahead and bought the Logrite 78-inch cant hook. Uh, it's basically the next best thing to a hydraulic sawmill, and I think it's going to be invaluable in this, uh, in this little adventure that we're taking here. See if you see that hook. You see it? Yeah. Grab it. Yeah, wasn't too bad actually. The hard part ain't happened yet. <laughs> what the difficulty level is.
got to get it slid over. Got 31 without the bark there.
so you can kind of see see how the blade was cutting relatively smooth uh-huh and then it gets right here yeah and then it quits cutting smooth it's because of that nail <laughs> nail bad news i didn't bring my nail removal tools <laughs> <laughs> That blade made work of this uh, nail though. Oh, they'll zip right through them. I've uh, read about people hitting all kinds of things, like uh, electrical insulators. Oh, wow. Um, from like electric fences. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, all kinds of crazy stuff. Goodness. Of course, it don't got a head on it no more. <laughs> Bet you can get it with this now. Tell you what, hang on before you do anything. I'll try to at least dampen the blow once it falls. Don't do anything. I'll put my invaluable hands under there. <laughs> All right, let her go.
So guys, it has been a couple of days now since that last shot was taken. I was, I was forced to quit filming because of the rain and uh, I didn't want my camera to get messed up. But here are a couple of the boards that we got out of that log. And uh, let me tell you, that was all that the mill wanted to handle. But I'm gonna put some water on this and just let y'all see uh, how, imp how impressive this is. Uh, these turned out uh, just uh, really spectacular, I would say. And I did get some close-up shots for y'all as well. So guys, that's all I've got for this video. Uh, the water did not bring out the grain quite like I wanted it, but I think that y'all got the picture when it was on the mill and still very green. I really don't want to dump any more buckets of water on this. I think y'all pretty well have gotten the picture. We got 15 boards out of this log. They were 21 or so inches wide, an inch and an eighth thick and nine feet long. Uh, we got 15 of them. Uh, we could have gotten more, but there was a fair amount of rot on that tree. And uh, we calculated the weight of the log to be about 2,585 pounds pounds according to the internet and um, considering the rot that was on it you could probably say that it's 22 23 2400 pounds something like that still a lot the winch actually did a really good job it handled it very well a lot easier than I thought it was going to handle it and uh, that log right 78 inch cant hook we could not have done it without it and even with that hook it was very very labor intensive and it was all that I wanted it's all that the mill wanted uh, y'all saw at one point we didn't have it shaved down quite enough on that right side and that supporting post on the right side came completely off if it comes a little bit off it's not a huge deal but if it comes all the way off um, you end up having some problems because the mill head won't move anymore at least not easily or uh, without some possible damage to the equipment but other than that once we hacked at it for a while we were able to get it cut and it was uh, it was all that the mill wanted to handle and it was certainly all that we wanted to handle but all of that work um, was made worth it by these boards these are some very impressive boards um, we're basically doing these on halves I'll probably use mine for floorboards or I don't really know something like that um, we calculated the age of this tree to be about 86 years by the rings but something tells me it's older because this is just a massive massive pine tree and um, just a very 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 impressive tree very thankful that I was able able to saw it again this was tornado damage at a friend's house and I was thankful that we were able to make uh, the best of a bad situation by recovering some lumber out of these out of these logs still have three very large logs on the ground to be cut up and we'll deal with those in about a week and a half here when we get some time and I'm um, looking forward to the boards <laughs> and uh, hopefully we've learned a little bit about how to make it a little bit easier next time but with all that weight in the manual sawmill it's just so much you can do but anyway that's all I've got for this video guys I hope that y'all enjoyed it and I will see y'all on the next one. So guys, I wanted to go around and just show y'all the two day total on all of the boards that we were able to mill. This is a LT15 wood miser manual sawmill and uh, three people working at it for two days. Uh, this is one small stack right here. Here's another stack here and another stack here. I'll go down and show you the width of this stack also. There's some cedar on the top there. Very nice. Some 4x4 four four posts or timbers. And here's my haul on the back of my trailer here. This is um, 19 layers of boards here. And you can see the width, the full width of the trailer right there. Undoubtedly overloaded. So we're going to have a slow, slow ride going home. And we've got a few oak slabs here in the back. Pretty good haul.